Lawrence Edwards arrives for work. It's winter at the warehouse, converted into his own foundry. He's working on major projects, both for a UK and growing worldwide market, supported by a dedicated team. Hi, Tom. Wow. Incredible, it's just changing every day. It's just extraordinary, yeah. How's it going with the uh, carving? And we've got like a little blob of clay originally, yep. but now it's a great big lump of polystyrene. Yeah. I was wondering how you felt about it, about how it's changed. I think we've really just got to stick with this. I think each one of these marks growing is just like a thumb mark or a gesture that's just amplified, and I just love that. I just love what you're doing. I think it's very, very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, good. It's brilliant. And let's just say, it's just the way it's um, imposing on the room is just incredible. What it's going to be like in the landscape is going to be extraordinary. It really is looking like this guy, isn't it? Extraordinary. Amazingly, this year I've had the offer of the biggest commission of my life and far exceeding any commission I'd ever thought I'd ever get. A 26 foot high standing man in the middle of a landscape which is going to be actually landscaped for it. So I had a real dilemma as to how the hell to approach this project um, and I just had to take it step by step really. It's like eating a whale, mouth at a time. So the man will be stacked up and then over a steel armature glued and then we're going to start carving the figure with knives and wire brushes and stuff and the numbers are really really helpful because we get lost in the whole morass of uh, polystyrene you get a bit snow blind you don't know where you are and this process will take about three or four months the confidence to make such a figure is derived from Lawrence's own development as a sculptor from his training in London, his experience from expert founders in India, to setting up and running his own foundry. All this helped by a strong bond between dealer and artist. Hello! Oh, that is amazing. I oh, know, it's incredible. It's yeah, can't I saw, believe it. I saw photographs when it was, uh, you know, about two foot high, and now yeah. it's 24 foot plus. Yeah, 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 26 foot. We've got to make it 26 yeah. foot because it yeah. shrinks. To 24 foot in bronze, so yeah, it's wow. amazing. But this is where it all started, David. Well, I was seeing that back yeah. in your other studio actually, and just loving it in the clay. I just love the way oh. the clay's dried out and all the cracks are now cast into bronze, you know, like sort of aging and sort of fading is now sort of stuck, frozen in time. Yeah, it really speaks to me that. Yeah, so it's amazing. Messams have worked with Lawrence since 2009 and encouraged his development. Special pieces followed. I wanted in this instant to create a head that was far, far bigger than me, almost the scale of an elephant's head, or maybe the, the scale of an elephant's head. I wanted to explore those cavities of like an elephant's skull, imagining our skull sort of scaled up and then pummel it and beat it and really get physical with it, you know. David Messam turned up one morning and, and saw it and said, Crikey, that's you know great. I want to I want you to develop that. Thing. Well, one of the most exciting things about being an art dealer is is actually finding something amazingly beautiful, which is actually more important than you, more important than anything you've ever seen before. And standing now in front of a massive head, which speaks uh, about everything that I think is great about his work. Actually, it's the naturalness, it's the size, it's the emphasis, it's. Um, um, the fact that he conceives a piece and sees it right the way through to this finish that uh, makes him completely unique, I think. Lawrence's ideas start in a smaller nearby studio where he can work on his own without distractions. We've got a show coming up at Messams. We're basically going to run a, a, a kind of a large figure uh, head next to a load of small maquettes. We're going to show really the process of creation. Uh, basically, my sculptures start with <clears throat> modelled forms. This is really a, a maquette for a sculpture called the Catcher, 
which is this guy holding a sort of a curtain of organic material under his arms. Small wax maquettes lead to larger bronze figures and the bravery to upscale. So there are a number of ways in which I work. You can see here a figure with a lot of organic material impregnated on it there. Um, here is just a, a collection of sticks which denote figure, which talk about figure. I can put this straight in a mould, and I can put this in a kiln, and all this will burn away and turn to ash, leaving a hollow space exactly the shape of sticks and wax and things. And we can turn this into bronze, which is an extraordinary piece of, in my mind, magic. And bronze casting is a, a magical process. We're a great team uh, in the foundry. It's a foundry we've built over the last two or three years uh, with great expertise. And these guys are confident that we can pull this figure through. And I really need them. I need their help because this is way beyond my experience. Basically, we're going to have 70 sheets of bronze which are going to be slowly welded together, cast and welded over the next two to three years. Uh, and we're just like building a ship. All this is way beyond my experience, and so I'm very scared. No, you, stay, you keep it. Lawrence's figures emanate from his connection with his Suffolk surroundings. With Sutton Hoo nearby, it seemed appropriate to mock up a burial for this figure in the mudflats. My ultimate aim is to create that kind of fusion between uh, where we've come from and where we're going. We're just burying this body halfway along the line, and I really want the sculptures to explore that idea of where we're going to end up, really, where we're going to and what we're borrowing, what matter we're borrowing and how we're going to return to that sort of place. The same theatricality surrounding Lawrence's work occurred when delivering his Creek Men on an especially constructed raft to the Aldborough Festival. The foundry's preparing for the next bronze pour. Working for a master founder demands hard work and dedication. But each member of this team knows how special the outcomes are. They are building a body of work for Messam's next shows and excitement and enthusiasm abounds.